Welcome back, wood lovers. It's Tommy's Tomewoods. And uh, it's been about a year since we last did one of these, these episodes. And uh, it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you uh, without a dope beat to step to, or indeed some beautiful wood to look at. But we've been busy here at the workshop. Um, you'll notice that we're in a new space um, and uh, lots of things have been going on, lots of exciting things. And Tommy Stonewood's had to take a little bit of a hiatus, but don't worry, we're back. And we're back with a bang, because today, by popular demand, we've got something really cool, really old, and really quite wonderful. This is a little stash of ancient Sitka spruce. Now, isn't that pretty special? Isn't that colour awesome? So this has got a storied history, as you might imagine, being uh, nearly 3,000 years old. This comes from our friends at Alaskan Specialty Woods, and they're based in the, the mountains in southern Alaska. And they're a family-run business who have been supplying Sitka spruce and other domestics for many years. And I think it was back in about 2012 when they were preparing their land to build a new workshop. They were doing it all the ex excavating and they hit upon a buried Sitka spruce log. And rather than kind of dig it up and kind of chuck it out and carry on with the building work, they decided to take a bit of a gamble and see if they could saw it and produce some timber. Because when they were um, kind of when they first hit, hit the timber, they noticed that very quickly it oxidized from the kind of typical creamy orangey color that you associate with Sitka spruce to this amazing uh, kind of green, gold, bluish hue, these kind of gray streaks that you see. This timber has been um, radiocarbon dated. We've even got a little certificate here. And you know it's legit because it's got a little gold seal on there. So this has been uh, radiocarbon dated to uh, plus or minus 30 years, uh, 2,850 years old. So the carbon dating process, what they do is they'll take a sample from the cambium layer, so the layer just below the bark, um, the, the kind of the newest part of the tree where all the, the active growth is taking place. And they can determine through the, the radiocarbon dating process how, uh, when, when the tree fell. And then um, counting up the growth rings, you can add on, I think it's like 150 years or so to give us a, a rough age of about 3000 years. So uh, we'll go back, we'll rewind to 2850 years ago. This Sitka, tree, this Sitka spruce tree was minding its own business up on the mountains in, in Southern Alaska. And uh, we can imagine that it was a, a huge rainstorm which washed away the soil uh, exposing the tree to the elements and ultimately it fell and was covered by everything slipping down off the mountainside so mud rocks all this kind of stuff loads of water and it was essentially entombed over the course of I'm gonna say hundreds of years let's say hundreds of years water moisture was able to permeate through the um, through the log completely saturating it um, and the, uh, the, the, the water was very rich in iron minerals, and that is important in, in why this timber is green. So this wood is, uh, is completely encased and entombed in all of this uh, soil and rock, and then it freezes. It becomes part of the permafrost, and it stays that way for, for hundreds of years. Um, and so the timber just doesn't degrade. It's, an, it's saturated, it's in an oxygen-free environment, and uh, it's also frozen. Once it's cut up, those iron-rich minerals that are present in the, in the water quickly oxidize the, you know, as, as the, the fresh air hits this timber as it's being cut. It transforms from the, the kind of pinky, white, creamy color that you normally associate with Sitka into this green, blue gray hue which is just amazing and this runs all the way through um, these amazing boards but aside from it being looking cool um, it's gone through the kind of natural aging process um, all of the internal resins that would otherwise pre prevent the tree from being infested during its life have all polymerized um, all the lignins and 
uh, pectins and all of the other polysaccharides have all crystallized. And so what's happened is you, you're ending up with boards that are incredibly stiff and reminiscent of you know, the old boards that we'd associate with you know, the, the golden era of acoustic guitars. And the same kind of idea that we're looking for when we go, when woods go through the, the torification process, you know, we're looking to, to bake those resins to really stiffen up um, and really dry out the, the timber. So this is kind of like had natural torification, I suppose. So without further ado, let's reintroduce the, uh, the legendary magic spray. And it's just here. It's gonna flash off pretty quick. Wow. I've forgotten how cool this is. Look at that amazing color, that kind of rich olive green, that kind of tan orange yellow. It's got a kind of grayish hue to it as well. Let's give it a little listen, shall we? There we go. So if you're watching this on your phone or your computer, you're probably not gonna be hearing the same thing as I'm hearing. But I've got a little lapel mic here. So listen on some headphones or to some good speakers and you'll kind of hear that, that rumbly and the tumbly that I'm hearing. That's really cool. Let's try one of these other boards here as well. Yeah, baby, that's awesome. So I'm just gonna compare that with this little sicker board that I have here. So maybe you can hear the difference. This one's got more of like a dry thud to it. And it's not quite as bright. Admittedly, these are different size boards, um, different thicknesses. So it's not, a, it's not a direct comparison, but it's fun to listen to these things side by side and you kind of get your own impression. I've got to be careful not to mix these up. I have three sets here and these were the last three that I was able to buy. There is, there is no more on the website. Um, it came from one log and there's gonna be no more of it. So I've, I feel really super lucky that I was able to, um, to catch these when I did. And actually what brought this on was um, after I posted a video about uh, Fenlon Black Oak, which has got a similar kind of vibe to it that was oaks that um that were submerged in in peat bogs down in the in the uh, in, down in east anglia um and um were also preserved and have this amazing kind of black color running through them so there i have some sets that are like five thousand years old and uh, a customer of mine said you know what would be really cool is if we made an eight thousand year old guitar and uh, we used some of the fenland black oak and we paired it with um, some of the ancient sitka so jim this, this, this is for you. And uh, sure enough, the, the rest of these sets have been snapped up. This one is gonna be going with, wow. I've forgotten how nice this is. Um, this is gonna be going with um, some African Blackwood, which is gonna be a super, super cool guitar. And this one here is gonna be for James. And he is uh, pairing this with some spalted quilted mahogany from the tree. So. I feel like this timber is getting uh, the star treatment. It's gonna be paired with some amazing uh, celebrity woods in their own right to make some really unique and beautiful guitars. And um, yeah, this set, these set, they're all so nice in, in different ways. You can kind of see on this set, you know, where the moisture is kind of percolated through the end grain. And we've got some kind of darker streaks down at the bottom. But that's what 3000 years in the permafrost will do for you. Turn your nice olive gray green. I'm gonna, I'm gonna frame my certificate because it's so fancy. So we're gonna be framing that. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this rather rusty episode of Tommy's Tonewoods. I'm glad to be back. We've got so many cool, unique timbers to show you. And if you have any ideas of things that you'd like to see, um, you can either go onto my website and look through the Tommy's Tonewood vault, um, or you can even make some suggestions because I haven't bought any new timber for best part of a year. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see, um, and uh, tell me what you thought of the video. Until next time, take it easy.